Adventurer and renowned big game hunter Alan Quartermain receives an unusual request from Sir Henry Curtis and his companion, Captain Good. They seek Quartermain's expertise in locating Sir Henry's missing brother, who ventured north into the uncharted African interior in pursuit of the legendary King Solomon's mines. While Quartermain has always regarded the treasure map with skepticism, he agrees to undertake the mission, recognizing that he has outlived many of his fellow adventurers. Quartermain strikes a deal with Sir Henry and Captain Good, he will lead the expedition in exchange for a share of the treasure or, in the event of his death along the way, financial support for his son's future. To assist in their journey, Quartermain assembles a diverse group of companions, including the skilled Hottentot tracker Vent Vogel and the enigmatic hunter Umbopa, who claims to be Zulu. Although Quartermain initially distrusts Umbopa due to his demeanor and hidden identity, he eventually accepts him into the group. Their arduous journey takes them across a perilous desert, where they narrowly survive encounters with a wounded elephant and a severe lack of water. Eventually, they reach an oasis marked on Quartermain's map and later arrive at Solomon Berg, a formidable mountain range. Inside a cave atop one of the peaks, they discover the frozen body of José Silvestre, the Portuguese explorer who created the treasure map. Tragically, Vent Vogel succumbs to the harsh conditions and is left in the cave to keep José Silvestre company. On the other side of the mountain, they find abundant game and water, offering much-needed sustenance and respite. However, their peaceful interlude is interrupted when Captain Good encounters a group of native hunters. Quartermain notices the striking resemblance between these hunters and Umbopa, which raises suspicions. When the Kukwana warriors threaten Captain Good, he inadvertently reveals his false teeth, startling the natives and causing them to flee in fear. The explorers decide to adopt the roles of sorcerer gods as a means of protection during their journey. This transformation includes a pivotal encounter with the local native's king. King Twala, known for his ruthless rule, had ascended to the throne by murdering his brother and banishing his wife and infant son, Ignosi, to the unforgiving desert. His malevolent chief advisor, an elderly crone, supported his reign through witch hunts and violence, targeting Umbopa for her malicious schemes. However, Umbopa eventually reveals a shocking truth, he is, in fact, Ignosi, the rightful king. The Englishmen rallied behind Ignosi, offering evidence of his legitimacy through their knowledge of a forthcoming lunar eclipse. Rebellion against King Twala erupts, resulting in a fierce battle. Despite being outnumbered, the rebels emerge victorious, with Sir Henry engaging in a decisive duel that ends in King Twala's decapitation. The explorers also capture the malevolent crone, compelling her to guide them to King Solomon's mines, a treasure chamber brimming with gold, diamonds, and ivory. During their journey into the treasure chamber, the malevolent crone manages to escape, sealing the explorers inside the room with a massive stone door. Left with dwindling food and water supplies, the men face imminent doom. However, after several days, they discover a hidden escape route, emerging from the treasure chamber with pockets filled with diamonds. The explorers bid farewell to Ignosi, who promises they will be revered as heroes, and they begin their journey back to England. Taking a different path, they encounter Sir Henry's brother at an oasis, nursing a broken leg. Eventually, they all escape the wilderness and return to England, their wealth far beyond their wildest dreams. Although the book initially faced challenges in finding a publisher, it eventually secured one and swiftly became a literary sensation. In its year of publication, King Solomon's Minds reigned as the bestseller, with the publisher grappling to keep up with the insatiable public demand for copies. This groundbreaking novel birthed a literary genre now known as the Lost World genre, a subgenre of science fiction and fantasy where characters encounter civilizations marooned in different times or places. Prompted by the book's success, several other authors delved into crafting their own lost world tales. Among them were Edgar Rice Burroughs, who penned The Land That Time Forgot, Arthur Conan Doyle with The Lost World, and Rudyard Kipling's The Man Who Would Be King. Notably, many of these works from that era exhibit colonialist views that are now regarded as racially insensitive, though Haggard's characters are relatively less prejudiced compared to their counterparts in the genre. Over the years, King Solomon's Minds has undergone six film adaptations and has served as a wellspring of inspiration for countless more films, television series, and literary creations. The character Alan Quartermain, originating in this novel, 
continues to feature in various other works by Haggard and has influenced numerous writers and filmmakers. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.